to rise upon the most marvelous martial magnificence that the Underdark has to offer. I, Baloff, the Entertainer, cordially invite you to join the audience of my latest spectacle. The Black.
don't stand a chance.
all will die. Your life shall be mine. I deserve to be leader. Uh, uh, we should rest now. I need sleep. Death will come swiftly. Go, go, go! Everybody listen to me now. Who's in for it now? It's about time you recognize my little nap about now, wouldn't it? Your doom approaches. What? What? Where are we? Oh, spike me, Drake. I was just in the tavern talking to Myrna. Hey, I saw those folks there too. We're in some kind of fighting pit. Look out! Monster! <laughs> You have qualified. What's next? Ah, this group. Are they awake yet? Oh! Rouse yourselves, you lice-laden layabouts. Stand and salute your new master, Baloth, the Entertainer. You may also thank me, since your meaningless lives are about to become infinitely more exciting, and quite likely, abbreviated. You have been brought here by an unlucky roll of the die. Well, unlucky for you. Gather some equipment, gird your loins, and prepare to fight. Nasheem, my obedient slave, take care of them. And don't forget to give them a little spending money. As my master commands, take these coins. Speak with the dealers gathered here to equip yourselves. Once you are prepared, report to Master Baloth. Do not attempt to escape, lest he command me to snuff out your life. You have been summoned to this island fortress by Baloth. We are in a complex known as the Black Pits, dug by Durgar slaves. You are to fight in the battle pits for the amusement of Baloth's guests. I have answered your questions. Now, prepare for battle. Prepare yourself for battle, mortal. When you are ready to face your fate, speak with Baloth. Yes? What is needed? I stand ready. Hmm? I am here. Hmm?
It will be oh, done. I see that Baloth has found another promising candidate to fight in the arena. I am called Glurak. Your people know mine by such unimaginative terms as beholders or eye tyrants. You may as well think of me as death, for I have as many ways of inflicting destruction as I have eyes on my head. You are wise to ask, for Baloth's personal power is puny compared to mine. It should have been impossible, but Baloth did not defeat me. He tricked me. Through illusion and deceit, he lured me into an anti-magic field that neutralizes even my awesome gazes. Even then, he required the aid of his Jin servant. You see, therein lies Baloth's true power. The combined strength of his willing allies and bound servants. Servants like you. No. Then surely you will leave at any moment of your own free will. But if you cannot, then you are bound to fight and die in the black pits. I have been Baloth's prisoner for many years. In that time, I have witnessed so many of his entertainments that the monotony begins to threaten my sanity. One day, he says, when he has found a champion able to best all of his other discoveries, he will release me to put an end to the spectacle. How should I know? I am a beholder, not a mind flayer. Still, if you think you are strong enough to become the champion of the Black Pits. Interesting. I am familiar with the sort of foe Baloth is likely to pit against you. I could offer you counsel from time to time. Sometimes the key to victory is not obvious to those who have not previously witnessed the opponents in action. Baloth always tests new combatants with a fairly straightforward battle. Bolster your defenses with magic, and you will have an advantage. With ease. Your concern? Not yes. a problem. Not yes. a problem. Huh? With ease. Not you a look problem. Troubled. The day is coming soon, and then Pelos shall pay. What's this? More useless captives for the Black Pits? Have you come to buy my scrolls? It will be done. What do... Oh! M more of your sort. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll get you whatever you need. M my name is D D D D Devlin 
terror long. I deal mainly in re ranged weaponry. What can I get you? Yes? I listen. What I is this? I stand ready. It is done. Certainly. What do you interlopers want? If it isn't a light weapon, then off with you. will be done with ease not a problem greeting surface dwellers if it's potions you seek then my friend can brew something special just for you you may call me bail a gulp He is not a mere mushroom, but a sentient being known as a myconid. I'm not surprised you haven't encountered one before. Most live in the lower reaches of the Underdark. That's where I met this charming fella. An unfortunate wrong turn led me into a deadly field of fungus. I would have died had the concoctor not arrived in time to save me with one of his marvelous elixirs. No, his name is a brief sequence of spores that most people can barely detect, much less interpret. But we've wandered the Underdark together so long that I can now translate his spore talk for others. His full name is closer to Keen Sentin Concocter of Marvelous Drafts. And even that's not his real name, which even I can't fully understand. It will be done. With ease. You fools have no idea what you're in for. You'd best arm yourselves as heavily as possible. I can help with that, if you've enough coin. Not a problem. More placings for Belos? They dragged off the bodies of the last one just yesterday. I suppose you've wisely decided that being light on your feet is the only way to prolong your life? That's right. Light on your feet so you can run away from talking to your own vice! It is a complicated matter. I do not wish to discuss it with you. At least this time it's not only me he won't talk to. Come to think of it, I don't know if that's any better. Now, can I sell you some light armor?
It will be done. You are Pelos' latest twerps, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I hope you can at least spit in his eye before you die. That last goop, you should have bought more of my heavy armor. Not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. It will be done. Not a problem. Not a problem. Yes. More mortals to twist in agony upon the battlefield. <laughs> Were I not enjoying the sight so much, I would be tempted to step into the arena and eviscerate you myself. <sighs> Who are you to judge where I belong? <sighs> Baloth is one of my most valued customers. When he invited me here, I welcomed the opportunity to display my finely crafted magical garments to hundreds of spectators from across the realms. Of course I came willingly. And why not? Baloth is known for his especially horrific tableaus. <clears throat> his name is whispered in reverent tones by all who relish blood sport. Now, shall I begin fitting you for a burial shroud? Not a problem. With ease. With ease. It will be done.
it will be done. Took you long enough, you pathetic pack of peripatetics. Are you ready for your very first battle in my arena? I have a crowd waiting, and I want to show them a rousing rumble. I'm afraid I can't let you go. I would be disappointing dozens of desperately depraved devotees of my devious diversions. And just look at all the hard work I've put into creating this colossal complex of combat. But you wouldn't want that to go to waste, would you? So as you can see, there's no way I will allow you to leave. Your only choice is to provide a particularly prodigious performance in the pits. I'll kill you, of course. And maybe your families. Now then, throw on some big smiles and... Ooh, dear. Maybe that one shouldn't smile. Have a cleric look at that most malevolent mouth. Anyway, back on topic. Are you ready to hear what you'll be battling against? Now then, are you ready to hear what fearsome foes you'll fight first? Before any of our unwilling warriors wastes our time in a meaningful match, we like to warm them up with a little light exercise. So as not to overwhelm the newcomers, we'll start with the worst of a wretched lot of gibberlings. certainly could have gone worse. You've proven you can stamp out the weakest of opponents. Now let's see how you do against some who have eaten in the last 10 days. Prepared to face your next match. Bailoff always tests new combatants with a fairly straightforward battle. Bolster your defenses with magic, and you will have an advantage. Not a problem. Ah! You have returned! Are you ready to spill blood on the arena floor? They may not look like much, but these giverlings have passed inspection. Unlike that last sorry game, you'll have to break a sweat to slay these savages. Well done, my precious pugilists. You've certainly proven that I picked well when I picked you to perish in the black pits. Not a problem. Not a problem.
It will be done. It will be done. Ah, you have returned! Are you ready to spill blood on the arena? <laughs> Prepare yourselves, my underdog gladiators. A gruesome fate awaits you at the hand of this motley mob of miscreants. I yank them from a shabby saloon. Perhaps the victors can celebrate with a drink. Congratulations! You have slain a bunch of boozy bumblers. The regime shall ensure that you are rewarded appropriately. Not a problem. Not a problem.
with ease. Hello, you seem like adventurers. Do you know an elf named Alwyn the Illusionist? If you see him, could you give him this note? No Are problem. you prepared to face your next match? Whenever you face spellcasters, be sure to eliminate them first. Without their support, the other combatants will fall more easily. It will be done. Ah, you have returned! In which battle would you like to fight again? With ease. Ah, you have returned! Are you ready to spill blood on the <laughs> Behold! Your next adversaries are a pack of punchy hobgoblins I picked up near Waterdeep. I promised them freedom if they perforate you, so they're just itching for a chance to escape. Either that or my delousing spell needs work. Approaches. In Cactus Hulka. Goodness, the look on their faces when they realized they would never again see those disgusting dens they call home. I think that deserves a bonus. With ah, ease. you have returned. Which battle would you like to fight again? your next match. The best way to stop a river is to cut it off at the source. It will be done. Ah, you have returned! Are you ready to... Enjoy toying with lesser spellcasters. I captured this insolent little necromancer running for his life outside of Hens of Baranza. How he got there, I don't know. But he does summon skeletons with supernatural speed. for killing things that are already dead. If only you displayed a little more flair and enthusiasm for your work.
Not a problem. I'm prepared to face your next match. A pack of warriors bearing down on you may be fear-inspiring, but the same group sound asleep is far less terrifying. Not a problem. <laughs> and which battle would you like to fight again? Not a problem. Ah, you have returned! Are you ready to spill blood? <laughs> While the spell is mightier than the sword, something is lost during a subtle spell duty. What is that elusive quality? The visceral impact of body blows, the crunch of bone, and the rending of flesh. Behold! A team of pulverizing pugilists ready to pound the precious life out of our proud defenders. You certainly won't make one fighting such dull brutes. I must provide a more engaging foe for our next fracas. It will be done. It'll Are be you done. prepared to face your next match? Divide and conquer is not always the winning strategy. There are times when you should all focus on one target. With ah, you have returned! And which battle would you like to fight again? With ah, you have returned! Are you ready to spill blood? You've beaten my hobgoblins, which means you're exceptionally strong. You've also bested my pet spellcaster, which means that you've studied well. I can clearly not rely on one extreme or another. So instead, I shall crush you with a combination of combatants. Carry on! Oh, 
Inconceivable! Get out of here! And take your reward with you. Ridiculous! Outstanding! Impossible! Fantastic! You've managed to crush everything I've thrown at you. Clearly, I have excellent taste in selecting gladiators. You've survived for longer than I expected and gained quite a following in the process. But don't worry, you'll be dead soon enough. I've dug out some of my rarer beasts. Very soon now, they'll crack your skull open and feast on the gooey innards. Oh, don't be such a preposterously petulant persnicket. I'll tell you what. Because you've been so gracious about all this kidnapping and forced to fight to the death business, I'll give you a reward. Now go get ready for your next battle. Uh, you'll most likely be slain, so it's probably time to perform whatever funeral rituals your culture requires. <laughs> Impressive, mortal. Your feats in the arena have become a frequent topic of conversation. Perhaps you will set a new record for longest surviving combatant. No. Bailoff has tasked me with giving you this reward for your outstanding performance. Take it and prepare for your next battle. It will be done. Way to go! You've been really terrific down in the pits. Do you need some more potions? My buddy the concoctor is ready to squirt out some more. Not a you, problem. You're, you're still alive. How? Bailoth surely would have destroyed you by now. Or, or p perhaps he is merely t toying with you. Not a problem. Your prowess in battle has become well known. 
Perhaps it was my weapons that tipped the balance in your favor. Not a problem. Watch yourself. With every battle, you anger Baloth more and more. Soon, he will pit you against an unbeatable foe. Not a problem. Ah, you have returned! Are you ready to spill blood on the arena floor? I'm afraid I haven't had time to arrange a suitable contest for this next round. Wait, do you feel that? Something trembles through the earth, like doom burrowing its way into the arena. There! Can it be? Yes! The biggest bugs that ever bore through the Earth! After that last conquest, I don't know whether to call you a gladiator or an exterminator. Study our rivals, my friends. Identify their weaknesses, but show them none. What will hurt the most? Fire? Acid? Lightning? So many delicious choices. With ease. So, you're the current favorites. May tomorrow favor thee, until we meet in the Black Pits. That is the spirit I like to see. I look forward to seeing how you fare in your next battles. They are obviously no match for us, my mistress. Let me act that Baloth fool, and I will end this circus now. First, we will triumph in the arena. Then we will crush this drow like a beetle. With are ease. you prepared to face your next match? When facing superior numbers, Cast spells that deal damage over a wide area to even the odds. Not a problem. Ah, you have returned! Are you ready to spill blood on the arena floor? For our 
our next contest, I have brought you nature's own avenger. A deadly druid with his own assemblage of amazing arachnids to annex, annul, abolish, and annihilate their adversaries. Again, you prove yourself a skilled swatter of insects. Perhaps what you need are some enemies with real backbone. <laughs> The fateful hour draws closer. Ready yourselves, my companions. It will be done. Prepare to face your next match. When facing the undead, take precautions lest you succumb to the chill of the grave. And never overlook the power of a divine spellcaster. As you wish, infallible Thespia. Let's try these bars again, Poetica. Uh, uh, it's no use. This prison is too strong. I, I, I can't break this lock, but, but, but how I would love to open Balos' throat. It will be done. With ease.
with these. Ah, you have returned! Unfinished business, hmm? With which fight will you... Not a problem. Ah, you have returned! Are you ready to... <laughs> oh, now I feel a little bad about this one. I've allowed your opponents into the arena early so they can put their special talents to use. Try not to trip as you traverse the tricky territory. Reward and choke on it. Well done. You have proven to be a most effective leader, especially considering what you have to work with. They cannot hold a candle to you, incomparable Thespia. With Are ease. you prepared to face your next match? As Baloth grows more desperate to stem the tide of your rising popularity, he will resort to an overwhelming onslaught of endless foes. You must cut off their reinforcements, lest you drown beneath their endless waves. Say the word, Tespia, and I'll snap Trickle's neck for you. Yeah, but perhaps you'll prefer... Not a problem. Yeah, I make this ingratiating smile, you know, like, permanent and, and, and much wider. With ease. Silence, all of you. The enemy is watching. Give them nothing. You've made quite a splash in the arena, and I'm not even talking about the blood. With ease. With ease. You've lasted longer than anyone expected. I'd start taking bets 
If anyone nearby were man enough to speak to me... Not a problem. Ah, you have returned! Unfinished business, hmm? Not a problem. Ah, you have returned! Are you ready to spill blood? <laughs> Some of my friends have come to me to confide their concerns that I have favored quality over quantity. Well, who says you can't have them both? Here, with five endless avenues to excitement, is my friend and yours, the magnificent Ogre Mage! Fair, routing your rival's reinforcements. But you have given me a great idea. What this contest needs are some fresh faces, and I have just the plan to provide some. At last, you've won the right to face us. I relish the opportunity to defeat a worthy foe. It will be just like the time you led us to glorious victory over those drow. With Thespia leading us, we cannot lose. It will be done. Are you prepared to face your next? Some battles appear straightforward, but the difference between the opposing sides lies within rather than without. It will be nothing like that, you simpering lick spittle. No one will get past me, Ender Seal. And nothing, nothing will, will stop me from wetting my fingers in the tenderest of our foes. It will be done. Ah, you have returned! Are you ready to spill blood on the unfinished business? Hmm? With ease. Ah, you have returned! Are you ready to spill blood? <laughs> enough is enough! I am a fair master, as long as my needs are served by you. But this is ridiculous! I need fresh blood, so I have plucked a new drop of combatants from the Conjuring Kingdom of Thay. Meet your replacements.
Apologies. I seldom lose my temper before an audience. It's just that I'm so impressed by your performance that I find it difficult to express myself. <laughs> I should be joyous, for with you I have created the entertainment spectacle of a generation. It is somewhat irksome that the crowd roars louder for you than when I step out to introduce the combatants, but... <laughs> I shan't trouble you with the vicissitudes of show business. I shall find something far deadlier to trouble you with. While you've done an excellent job of entertaining my guests, it is time to eliminate your exasperating endurance. Oh, that doesn't mean you won't go out with a bang. Far from it, in fact. Najim, prepare a suitable gift for them. Look, look, look. Never have I witnessed a mortal fret, Bailoth, so I must confess to taking a certain pleasure in witnessing his dismay. Take this gift. I have added something extra. Perhaps you will have a better chance than Bailoth intends. I do not know his plans, but I assure you, it will not be pleasant. However, Bailoth is not as omnipotent as he appears. You have already cracked his calm facade. Not a problem. Helsingen, Etten. I see that disgusting Majer Bailoth has trapped you as well. You look competent as far as small folk go. He lured me away from my Husslider. 
After a furious slag, he stepped aside and let his pet gin bind me. Were the circumstances similar for you? I crave nothing more than another chance to drive my Sven through his twisted Alv heart. It will be done. Are you prepared to face your next match? Killing something can be easy, but keeping it dead is not. Take care, lest your fallen foes rise up again to haunt you. And always remember to dispose of the bodies. <laughs>